Welcome back to TV5 News at 9. It is time for design time. Joining us from Tri-City Furniture is Kathy Kilborn. Thank you for calling in today, Kathy. No problem. Good morning. Good morning. I see a lot of legs there on your table. We're talking all about legs of our furniture today. So most furniture yeah. is made with exposed legs. Okay, so is that a newer trend, Kathy? Well, it, it's always been that furniture has legs. They have changed over time. We used to see a lot of skirts on a sofa, so the legs were hidden down under. But today we have it a little bit more open, and so the legs are more visual. Now, are there different ways to manufacture legs to a piece of upholstered furniture? Yes, there are, and it really has to do with the stability of the piece. So we know that most sofas are going to have four legs, but there are a lot of sofas today that will actually have five. They will put an extra leg smack dab in the middle of the front rail to give it extra support. If so someone sits down heavily in that center, the frame stability will still be strong because it have a le extra leg support. But there are legs which are built into the frame. There are legs which just screw in. There are ones like uh, this one where there's no screw on it and they actually put a long bolt through and put it up into the frame. So very, very stable. But there's a lot of difference as you can see. There's high ones and short ones and how they hook onto the frame is really important for the strength of the frame. And I can see there are a lot of differences there. So tell me about the quality. How about the quality of the different lights? Well, the, the thing that's interesting is they pretty much look like wood and so you can have some heavy duty ones again this one's bolted in um, but I have like this one and this is a screw in leg and it looks like wood I don't know how close you can see it but it's actually plastic and so the stability of this leg is not going to be near as good as a leg even similar size as long as it's the the other one is wood. They're going to have a lot more strength. The bolt that's hooking to the frame is a lot longer and heavier than just screwing in a small plastic leg. And there are many kinds of plastic legs. So again, many of my manufacturers who are American-made are buying Amish legs, solid wood. They're made for them, kill-dried wood. So the stability of that leg leg will go on for many years. So Kathy, which style is more secure? The, I think that if you really look at it one to another, if it's hooked on well, are good all around. But a heavier leg and one that is a little bit lower to the floor probably gives the, the frame the most stability. So if we have like this big round one or this larger square block leg, which is very popular today, they probably have the most stability for your frame. Okay, that sounds good. Thank you so much, Kathy, for calling in. We appreciate that. Anything else you want to know about legs, call Kathy and stop by there and see her at Tri-City Furniture. Thank you, Kathy. Yeah, just one quick thing is there is a little maintenance on legs. Always, if you have a screw in yeah. leg, you may want to always, once in a while, give it a turn and make sure they're tight because if a leg loosens up, it will snap off and that we don't want because it's harder to fix. So remember to take a look at those and tighten them if you do have a turn in leg. Once again, thank you great, so much. thank you. Great advice, thank you so much. We appreciate it, Kathy, and thank you for watching this edition of Design Time.